Hi everyone, Dave here, and welcome back to Siberia. We're back as Kate in the upstairs room here. We got our fax letter, or did we? No, uh, fax, yeah, the fax letter. Oop. Can I not look at the fax letter? Personal file. Examine. There we go. Um, so we're looking for Matir. We're looking for him. <laughs> That's who we're looking for. Because um, Anna Volberg passed away last time. Or that's who whose funeral we saw. She didn't pass away last time. She had passed away. So we're looking I'm for that person. Again. Let's see what you had to say for it's yourself, welcome. sir. Um, Could you tell me where I can find a notary here see, in mission. Valadilen by the name of Alfalter? We only have one notary here, and his house is easy Alfalter. to recognize. You can't miss it. Oh, good. I'm gonna go look so around Valadilen. So where is it? See you later. <laughs> As you like, miss. We can't miss it. Hmm. That's never good. Because when it comes to stuff like this, I tend to miss it. Alright. Well, if you were a notary, where would you be? Should we start up the road? Maybe we should. Let's go up here. Let's go back to... Um, I think where we, I think we started up the hill. Oh, is this him? No. I mean, it's big. Okay, how do I... Oh, wait. There's a dude on the bench. Maybe he knows. Good morning. Good morning. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, oh please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure. But I'm afraid I don't have okay. the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, our good little town of Valadine. <laughs> the music got, like, really exciting there for a second. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. Well, I think mm, we might have actually just made him mad a little bit by calling it a pretty little village. Alright, so how do I... Is it, is it over here? Uh, come back here, Kate. Is it over here? No, it's not over here. Okay, so I guess it's back this way. The actual entrance. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that is the notary's office. Or it could be this one. We'll check this one first. I mean, just look at the place. It's huge. Um, oh... No. A puzzle. Oh, okay. Oh, Alright. Well, that didn't do anything, did it? Uh-huh. That's going to work. Looks like okay. something's missing. Something's missing. So you're supposed to be, like, holding something? And... So what, like, oh, all right, fair enough. So he's, so we need to find something for him to hold. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's check this, this house before we get too crazy into no need to go down there. hunting mysterious items. But that could be the dude's house. You don't know that, Kate. All right, let's explore the village a little bit, shall we? Oh look! 
Uh, can no we go into go this house? There. We're just gonna <laughs> randomly knock on people's houses. Hello, notary? Are you the notary? This guy's got like a, a hook. Good that he morning. can like take up Are packages to his can second I layer. That's kind of cool. No, afraid not. Not possible. We're Do I have money? I can wait a while. You can wait, but closed. we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Day of mourning. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame oh, Verbold's for, for death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. What? Oh. Alright. Um... Well, since I started going this way, I guess I can finish going this way. What about you? Go to this house. Can we go to this house? No need to go down there. Hello? Notary? Kate. You don't know that. There could be a notary in there. What about this one? Oh yeah, here we go. This has gotta be it. This one or the other one? Maybe this one's the mayor's house. Mayor? Oh, this thing's okay. jammed. Okay, uh, so we have a, a s it's jammed. Okay. Oh, this thing's jammed. What about now? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to click it, then switch it. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. Um, can we give him the facts, maybe? Oh wait, hang on. Uh, oh, I just got rid of the facts. Personal file, facts. Facts. What just happened? Sorry about that, guys. It kind of crapped out on me when I was uh, trying to use my facts on this robot. I don't know if I can, honestly. Oh hey, there's a. Hey, Kate, come, come over here. There's a there's a piece of paper over here. What is that? What's it say? You just checked it. Okay. Um, oh, it's paper. It is actually just the paper. All right, we're going to come up here to the robot. We're going to try this again. Hopefully, we're not going to completely crash the game. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, can we? Personal file. Packs two. Okay, and then like that. All right, so drop him. Okay, you're gonna read the facts. Oh, that actually worked. Did it work? Oh my gosh, it actually worked! Uh huh. Cry. Cry? What was that? <laughs> Great! Okay, um. Hello? Mm. Let's, let's do a little bit of snooping. Oh, she's actually gonna do snooping. Oh. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we have a button. We have another button. Oh, we only have one button. Actually, oh, it's a stamp, a stamp of approval. Oh, oh I can actually. Okay. Interesting. Oh, well, so that's where the ink goes, I assume. And then turn them around and stamp it. Cool. All right. Well, um, onward. Doesn't look like I can do much with that. Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker. Are please. you the notary? Or are you the mayor? I assume you're the notary. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course. I was waiting for you. Uh, Anna. You don't find it suspicious that Madame Varlberg left us so suddenly? Hmm. Her death took us by surprise. She still seemed to have so much life left in mm. her. 
I would have loved to have met her. Anna Vorlberg was not only one of my most faithful clients, she was also a very dear friend. Um... What does he know about Hans? Have you ever met Hans Vorlberg, Hans. Anna's brother? I have a few vague memories of him, that is all. I was very young at the time. <laughs> very young. If you don't mind, can we come back to that later? Alright, let's, uh, let's talk about the mission. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Oh. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now, I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alpha Terre. Metro. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... an heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. It's Anna Momo. Vorlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. <clears throat> can't, can't I just read the document in your possession? I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away not. from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. <gasps> it would not surprise <laughs> me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. Oh. You must remember his death, his funeral, too. Even though you were very young at the time, it was but a sordid charade dreamt up by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. Mm -hmm. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive. <laughs> and, so the, and there's die, the very exciting music. He who becomes dun, dun, dun. the sole and rightful heir of our factory. <laughs> okay, I see. If Hans Varlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? <laughs> the second half of the letter informs us that Hans Varlberg is somewhere in Siberia. Oh. I will leave the document in your hands to read. Why didn't you just do that in the first place? Or maybe that's like official notary business is to read the letter and you know make it all official. Okay. North of Siberia. Interesting. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation in legal terms is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Vorlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. 
Goodbye, sir. Well. Alright. Can I go over here? Will you let me go over there? I want to check out what's in here. I'm nosy. No need to go down there. Back to have it, Kate. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so I wonder if this key will let me go in get into that big building. Where did he say that was? Down the desk or somewhere? I already forgot. Can you believe that? Key? Key? No, no key. Key? Key. Key? No. No? Key? Um. Personal file. Letter from Anna to the notary, maybe? No. Um. Fax one, fax two, the validating Gillette. Gazette, not Gillette. I don't know. Alright, well. Key. 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 The hunt for the key continues. I said it was. Key? Key. Oh, it was over here. What's that? Oh my gosh. That is. Telescopic key. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, so let's go and use the telescopic key. Yeah, on the factory. Uh. Okay, can we. Okay. <laughs> Having a little trouble there? Okay. Ah, oh, I can't believe that using the facts on that little robot actually worked. I mean, I guess it makes sense since it, it tells him basically why we're here and... Oh. Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. Dan! How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Dan? Have you settled in? Ah, it was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. The Goldbergs? I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. Oh, poor Dan. Having to deal with the Goldbergs all by himself. He's going to have to eat dinner all by himself. Drink his fancy little wine all by himself. Alright. Key. Key. Alright, we, we, we don't have to wind because I assume the winding is already done. Oh, fantastic. Great. Now, we're in the courtyard of the factory, I assume, since that is the factory key. And that is... Anna Fulberg, I assume? Okay, great. Well, there you are, guys. We're going to leave you here. And we'll pick up here next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all then. Bye!